Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Well, today's flavor is Wild Mountain Blueberry. Haven't had that in a while. I'm trying to use the coffee pods that I have and buying an occasional new one every now and then. So, but during the holidays especially, I bought a lot of coffee pods. They had a lot of really good flavors out, so um, I stocked up. And now I'm glad I did. Because the prices keep going up and up and up. And like many people, I like to buy things when they're on sale or marked down. Um, it's the only way you can get what you need anymore without tightening the belt so so much that you know you can't afford anything so we have to shop smart unfortunately I don't see any relief in sight anytime soon but we'll see hopefully fingers crossed it'll be coming down the road so today it's going to be the start of a heat wave, which I'm not looking forward to. It's going to be 87 for the high today. And then for a whole week now, from Sunday to Sunday, it's going to be in the 90s. Oh, yuck. <laughs> I'll be doing a lot of indoor chores. I'm trying to do my outside things in the morning. This morning it's actually cool out there. It feels good. But that won't last too long. So I'm going to have my morning coffee and then I'm going to go do a little watering. Um, otherwise everything is just going to dry up and that will be the end of that. And even though I tried to not spend a ton of money on the garden this year, I still spent enough. And I don't want it to go, you know, downhill. So that it's difficult to keep your plants alive unless you have a watering system when uh, the heat goes up so high. So I know the people that are in California and Arizona and all those western states where it gets so bitterly hot, um, it, it's almost an exercise in uh, frustration to keep your plants alive. So I'm adding some berries, berries and cream, Briggerton, I guess that's a TV show, I don't know, I haven't watched it, but uh, it's supposed to be good, so maybe I'll give that a try. Right now I'm watching Homicide Hunter, I like crime shows, uh, it's with Joe uh, Kenda, and uh, I like his dry commentary that he does on there. Cheers. Mm, that's pretty good. So, anyway, that's going to be my morning. I do have to go water. Um... And then maybe I'll do a little bit in the garage this morning. I'm not sure yet. So, okay. I'm going to enjoy my coffee and just relax. I'm just going to have a slow day today. A simple, slow day. Um, I may go back to my mom's with my daughter. My daughter got back from vacation. I missed her. Uh, so I'm very happy that she's back. And uh, she wants to go visit my mom today, so I'm probably just going to tag along with her. So, okay, I will meet you over there at the budget book. Okay, back at my red budget book. So yesterday I did spend money. I bought that kitchen island that I was talking about. Um, so now I've kind of moved from fixing up the garden to fixing up the house. So along with downsizing and organizing and all that, I'm also um, 
redesigning and redoing some of the things inside the house that I've been wanting to do for a long time. So just playing catch up. I've said it before, I'm playing catch up from all the time where I couldn't spend money because I was trying to pay off my debt. So I'm still mindful of staying within my budget, uh, living within my means, but I'm now hunting for things that I've wanted to do on the, on, inside of my house. And one of those things was to get a new um, island cabinet for my kitchen. Uh, something where I could store um, my things in and not have them crammed in there so much. So I was looking for something with a wider storage space than what I have now. I have a really, really tiny kitchen cart, and I've had it for a number of years. But uh, I've already said, you know, it's cumbersome trying to move it because I need to sometimes get into my corner cupboard and drawer, and it just makes it difficult. So, uh, and another thing is I wanted to get one where I could actually pull it out more if I need extra counter space. Right now, the one that, well, the two that I have, they're two very tiny carts that I kind of stuck together. And it's too cumbersome to pull them out and use them as a workspace. So I'm kind of not doing what I want to do with that. So I'm hoping that the one that I ordered is going to work um, in as far as the space that I have there. But we'll see. So I'm kind of, I ordered a black one. They had white and they had black. The, the reason why I got black is because I have a little bit of chalkboard stuff going on in the kitchen, and I like that look. Um, my kitchen is very eclectic. It's sort of old world um, meets boho. Well, boho is actually old world. but um, So I'm trying to remain <clears throat> in that color scheme. And the shelving above where the cart's going to live actually has a lot of black accents. So I wanted to pull that color in. And if I wanted to, I could, I could write on, on it with chalk, too. So uh, I hope I like it, and I, I hope it fits. That, that's the most important thing. But I've been looking for one for a long time. So, um, and the price was right. I didn't want to spend, you know, a thousand dollars on having a custom made one or, uh, I just hope it's sturdy enough to where it holds up. I thought it would be a nice thing to have if, you know, we make cookies or something during the holidays, the extra workspace, or if I do bake something, which I don't do very often. <clears throat> The extra workspace would be nice because I don't have my I don't have a lot of counter space. My kitchen is a fairly good size. It's not a tiny kitchen, but I don't have a lot of counter space. I gave up some of the counter space when I had a pantry cabinet put in. So um, otherwise, I would have more counter space, but it would have been all the way on the other side of where my stove is, and that's where I do all my prep work. So that doesn't leave me much space um, to uh, have, you know, to prep things. So I'm probably going to be getting more red X's this month because um, there's some other things that I want to get for the house. And uh, not a whole lot, but sometimes it's just little things. Um, like I need some curtain uh, tie backs to go with some curtains I'm putting up on my new bedroom windows. And, you know, just little things like that. But every time I buy something, I do put it on my budget book. 
So, um, yeah, this is kind of the year where I'm fixing up my house and trying to catch up with all the time when I couldn't do it. So I think I'm going to need a new deck sooner rather than later because last night when I went out on the deck to let the dogs out, I have one board that's totally not fastened in anymore. And then um, I found some black ants in my bathroom, which tells me the wood on the deck is rotting. So I'm going to have to get some prices on a new deck and I'm just probably going to end up paying more to get the uh, composite wood, which I really didn't want to do this year. So I have to see what's what. But it, it's like some things just become an I have to do it sooner rather than later. And if, if I have rotted wood, that's going to be a reason why I need to, um, you know, take care of that sooner rather than later. Uh, I was hoping to get a break <laughs> for the summer and start off again maybe next year, but I don't know. Uh, I'm waiting for a price from my handyman um, that did my windows and my roof, and I'll see see what happens. All right, well, I hope you guys aren't having all the house issues. Uh, I didn't put much money at all into this house other than, you know, decor and things like that for the past 21 years, so I guess it all caught up to me at the same time. But, you know, there's no point to fixing something if it's not broken. So, okay, Life goes on, and we do what we have to do. Let's come out into the garden a little bit. I swear these elephant ears grow exponentially overnight. So I'm so happy that those came back this year. This one's beautiful. Look at the dark leaves on this one. And these leaves get really big. So you can see in my hand, but this isn't. they get bigger than that. So I'm very thrilled with that. Um, I have to feed my fuchsias. They're, they're not blooming as much anymore. So I have to feed those. And uh, I was working on my hummingbird feeder. And what I was thinking of doing, I don't want to really buy any more flowers. So what I was thinking of doing, because these are empty here, I was thinking of maybe planting just some random ivy. This roots really fast. Ivy's invasive. I would recommend you not plant ivy unless you want it to grow up your house and you like that look. But, um, so I thought I would plant some of that in there and just have some nice greenery. And uh, then I've got these two buckets here that I thought I would plant more in because then it'll trail down. So, just trying to save a little extra money. And then um, I have some red spray paint in the garage that I want to use up. So I'm going to spray paint some of this red. And um, maybe that will attract more hummingbirds. I do see them coming to the feeder. Now this morning I put a new feeder up. They like the old feeder that I had. And I stuck a Dollar Tree flower on there. So we'll see if that attracts them. But I have to water now before it gets too hot. Especially these impatience. They just droop like right away. So and I'm just seeing my my grapes are getting bigger. I don't know if you can see those or not. Probably not. I think it's too far away. But this thing is just loaded with grapes. There's tons on there. And I'm sure the animals will get them. That's what they did last year. So I'm very happy with my garden this year. It was a lot of work, but it was well worth the effort. And um, I, I feel very peaceful out here now. I, you know, it, it's just, 
I love hanging out down out here. So I'm going to get busy in water and um, hopefully I'd like this. And I used to have like a pathway that went all the way through here. It was my secret garden and I see now that it's starting to form again here to go up to the deck so it's a it's like a natural arch so I'm going to let that grow this is a magnolia and this is a uh, rose of Sharon that planted itself it has beautiful purple double flowers so all right well I'm going to get to watering and then I think I'm going to try and do a few things in the garage sitting here on my deck and I'm enjoying an iced coffee. Um, it's the, um, the Nescafe instant iced coffee and it's good. I put some strawberry syrup in with it and some of the um, berries and cream creamer and it's, it's good. So cheers! And to all your fathers out there, I want to wish you Happy Father's Day. So my dad, he's been gone since 2003. He's been gone a long time, but I still miss him. You know, I mean, he was always, always the rock of the family. He could fix anything. He was very smart, and um, he was a man's man. So we all miss him. You know, we talk about him a lot too. And uh, they're, they're never really gone. They're, they're always with you. And I believe, not everybody believes this, but I believe the soul goes on. And I believe our loved ones are connected, still connected with us. I don't know, it's just my thoughts on it. And. I think our, our pets that have gone over to the Rainbow Bridge, have, I think they're still connected with us too. So um, I don't know, one day maybe I'll find out for sure, well, <laughs> not maybe. If it's the case, I'll find out for sure. If it's not the case, I won't know the difference anyway. So this morning I had to move some of my wind chimes around because my elephant ears are getting so big that the little clanker things were kind of starting to get in the way. So uh, I just basically kept mostly uh, the wind chimes above the fountain because that doesn't interfere in anything. And of course, as soon as I come out here and start talking, the planes come over. Um, but that's all right. It's, it's still not a bad thing. So every day when I water, I walk around my garden and it's like, well, what do I need to change? What do I still need to fix? And then um, I make myself a list of what I need to focus on. So I still need to do my watering system. I need to do some weeding. But it seems like whenever I'm in the vegetable garden, I never have my gloves with me. So I need to make up a little um, plastic container with just my basic tools so that I'll have them with me when it comes time to uh, do anything in the garden. Otherwise, because of the dogs, you know, the, the gates are closed and I don't want them escaping. I have to go in the house, in the garage, and, you know, it's just a hassle. So, I need to make up a little garden tote that's weatherproof so that everything doesn't get wet in there. So, I'm really enjoying sitting out here. I really haven't sat out here in... In a long time. This year, I'm going to. Um, when I was married to Tom, he never liked to sit out here. He always wanted to sit in the garage. You know, out here, oh, it's too hot, it's too hot. Okay, well, 
you know, it's very shady here. I have trees, so it's not like you're sitting in the glaring sun. Sometimes you may have to move from chair to chair in order to get some shade, but it's really, really very pleasant out here. And I love hearing my fountain and sitting out here with all the birds, and it, it's just very relaxing, and I really, really like it. So if you have the opportunity, I cover my cup when I'm out here so I don't get any bugaboos in there. If you have the opportunity, make yourself a beautiful place, even if it's just a chair with a flower and maybe, you know, get one of these solar candles. I like these. I think they, they're really nice at night. I want to get a couple more just to put more out in the garden on a couple of my other tables. So, um, yeah, as I go through the garden, I make notes to myself as to what I still need to do. And when you have a garden, there's always something to do. But you just have to kind of take the time and just be still. Take the time and be still and be quiet. And just take it all in because otherwise what is the point of having a beautiful place to be if you don't take the time to enjoy it and for those of you that live in an apartment uh, and you don't have access to a garden get yourself a couple grow lights a comfortable chair you can make it a reading nook a little garden corner and it, it's nice to have to take care of something um, you know, whether that's plants or an animal or whatever is your shtick, uh, it, it's healthy to take care of something besides just yourself. But if that's what you want and you just want to take care of yourself, then that's okay too. It's all about you do you. I don't want to judge anybody. But making yourself a place where you can light some candles and, and just reflect on life, I think is great. I really, really do. And, and that means different things to different people. Like I like in my space that I make like that, even in the house, I like ambient lighting, candles, um, anything that makes the place feel warm and cozy. I'm all about that. And I tried to do that with my garden, too. I tried to make my garden cozy and uh, just, just a nice place to be. So, anyway, um, I still haven't eaten breakfast. It's almost noon. Well, I don't really eat breakfast most of the time. I have a bunch. But, um... Boy, I'm, I'm getting some grays there. But that's okay, I'm old enough to have some grays. And it doesn't bother me. At first, when I let my hair grow out, because I colored it blonde forever, I was born blonde. Then my hair gradually turned darker. And when I got pregnant with my last child, that was my daughter, my hair must have been a hormonal thing. My hair turned very dark brown, and it got curly. It was the weirdest thing. Now, my dad had wavy hair, and my hair isn't super, super curly. It's, it's wavy. But, um, yeah, before that, I had straight hair, so. <laughs> but that was a perk. That was great, because now I don't have to do anything with my hair. I just wash it and forget it, you know. It kinda, I kind of let it do its own thing. But, uh, yeah, so when I started to let the gray grow out, it was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like that. I thought my hair was going to be much more gray or than it was, but I was really shocked to see how much dark I still had in. Um, and uh, another thing why I was hesitant was because Tom hated it. <laughs> he hated me growing my hair out. 
every once in a while he'd look at me and, you know, he'd say, well, that doesn't look bad, you know, but, but I liked your blonde hair much better. Well, yeah, okay, fine, but you're not the one that has to color it once a month and, you know, spend an hour with the color on your hair, and it just got to be a pain to me. So uh, I just did what I did, and, uh, you know, sometimes compromise is good, and other times you, you need to do what you need to do. It's not always about what your man wants or... You know, sometimes you have to go with what you want to. So anyway, um, yep, I'm still waiting to see if my daughter's going to go to my mom's. I might tag along with her. Um, I really have to get into my garage, and even if I'm not going to do a whole lot of cleaning in the heat, I have to put together a couple boxes for the donation people because they're coming on Tuesday. So, uh, and it'll force me to kind of really get out there into the garage and get something done. Um, I'm working on it. It's not like, okay, I'm just going to forget about it. I am working on it. And sometimes if I have five minutes, like this morning, you know, it was nice and cool there. And I went out there, and it was like, oh, I should move this here and move this there. I'm going to put this with my potting bench because this stuff I want to incorporate in with the potting bench. So even taking five, ten minutes doesn't have to be an all-day project. You make progress. So, um, I don't know. I'm thinking about having... Maybe a breakfast quesadilla this morning. I uh, still have my quesadilla maker out. Last night I made um, quesadillas, and I used up some of that uh, not taco meat. Oh, little squirrel, don't come up here. <laughs> my doggies will eat you. It's looking at me. But anyway... Um, I have a teeny tiny bit, uh, not even a handful of the, the meat left, and I thought well, that would be good with eggs and cheese, and then put it in a quesadilla and have a breakfast quesadilla. So I think that's what I'm going to have. So okay, I will meet you in the kitchen and we'll make some breakfast, and uh, we'll see what the rest of the day brings. Well, this morning for breakfast, I'm making myself a, um, a quesadilla. I have this little bit of not meat left. I have a couple of tortillas, and this is the right size for this Ambiano tortilla maker. And then over here on my little cooker thing, I scrambled an egg, so I'm just going to and add some cheese. So, okay, well, th these things get really hot, so I'm going to go ahead and put on some, some gloves to open this, just in case. So there we go. And now this meat, not meat, is cold. But that's all right, it'll heat up. So I'm just going to put that on there. So another thing gone out of the fridge. And this has sort of a taco-ish kind of taste to it. So I'm just going to spread that around as best I can. And use that up. All right, then I'm going to put the egg on top. And this is just one egg. You can put as much egg in there as you want. But I figured one egg would be good. 
And then I'm going to glue it all together with some of this cheese from Aldi's. And I'll have a real quick breakfast quesadilla. And this thing cooks pretty quick. And it really makes a quick and delicious meal. So put on as much cheese as you want. You don't want to overfill it because you kind of have to latch it shut. So, you know, don't stuff it to the point where you can't latch it. So, I'm going to put the top on. Put my gloves back on because you don't want to burn yourself because this thing gets really hot. And... Okay, there we go, and I'm going to let that cook for two or three minutes, and then I'll be back. All right, it's been about two and a half, three minutes. Let's see if it's done. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Very nice. So that was quick. And you always want to unplug your instruments here, your cooking utensils, as quickly as you can so you don't forget about them. All right. So that's that. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this up into wedges, which is really easy to do. Doesn't that look yummy? So I have this pizza cutting knife. I've had that for a long time. I got that at Mark's. <laughs> of course I did. So I'm going to go ahead and these. You don't have to have one of these knives, but they're kind of fun. And it's all about having fun with your cooking. At least it is for me. So there we have it. You can serve whatever you want with it. You can put tomatoes and lettuce and sour cream, whatever you like on your quesadilla. And it's very hot. So I'm going to enjoy that for breakfast. Well, it's actually lunch. Okay. All right. Well, that was a good uh, brunch, lunch. So I'm going to relax now. I've had enough busy stuff going on today. And actually, it was a very relaxing day. I wasn't focused on really getting anything done. I just sort of wandered around and looked around and said, oh, yeah, I'll do this or I'll do that. And uh, that's what I did. So I'm not uh, super tired, but eh, I'm going to take the rest of the day and just kind of chill. So all right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to share, and thanks for watching.